So Fourier argued that the atmosphere had a role to play in warming the Earth's surface. But why? What was it about the atmosphere that explains this role? We need to go beyond the causal mechanism and discover the underlying process. However, before we answer these questions, it is important to understand the nature of the atmosphere, and in particular, its composition. I am sure we are all aware that the atmosphere is approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% argon, with trace amounts of other gases, most importantly for this subject, carbon dioxide. It should be noted that these numbers are for dry air. Water vapour is also important for this subject and can contribute up to 4% of atmospheric composition depending on the location. But who discovered that the atmosphere was made up of many different gases? The first suggestion that the atmosphere might be something other than the single substance as envisioned by the early Greek thinkers came first from the Italian polymath Leonardo da Vinci and then later by the English chemist and physiologist John Mayhew who both suggested that air is composed of two distinct components fire air that supports combustion and life and foul air that does not. In around 1630 the Flemish scientist Jan Baptiste van Helmont coined the term gas to describe the vapours given off when burning wood. He called these vapours sylvestre. Today, of course, this gas is known as carbon dioxide. He further recognised that carbon dioxide was produced in other processes, such as the fermentation of wine. However, it was the Scottish physician, Joseph Black, who in 1756 proved that the gas discovered by Van Helmont is naturally present in the atmosphere, finally confirming that the atmosphere is not a single substance. Black further identified that carbon dioxide is present in exhaled breath. The fact that respiration and combustion return carbon from the biosphere to the atmosphere is critical to understanding the carbon cycle and ultimately understanding climate change. So then, who discovered the mechanism by which carbon returns from the atmosphere to the biosphere? The first to suggest that the atmosphere may play a role in the growth of plants is due to the Reverend Stephen Hales. In 1727, Hales published his work on plant transpiration, that is the loss of water from the leaves of plants. This work, entitled Vegetable Statics, noted that plants very probably draw through their leaves some part of their nourishment from the air. That this nourishment is carbon dioxide was finally recognised by the Dutch scientist Jan Ingenhoots in 1796. These discoveries identified the importance of carbon dioxide and the mechanism by which carbon moves between the atmosphere and the biosphere, but also recognised that respiration is just another form of combustion. Thanks for listening.